Hey, you. You rub that. I'm coming in just a minute. Come on. <sighs> Mom! Have your milk. You have school tomorrow. You I'm going to, to bed. Okay? I'm not the kid anymore. You don't have to do this every night. <laughs> Mom, can I walk to school tomorrow? Why? <laughs> I can walk with some of my friends from the neighborhood since they go to the same school. You have a problem being driven to school every morning? I'm 14, Mom. My friends laugh at me. They call me Mommy's boy. Well, aren't you Mommy's boy? Oh, you're just afraid something might happen to me. Just like that. <laughs> well, one can really say what's locking around the corridors. My dear, I have a meeting with the senator's wife tomorrow. Okay. Election is around the corner. So mom is going to be busier than usual. Okay? I've sent for your auntie Grace to come over. I think I heard someone coming. I think she's the one. Tonight? Yes, she actually missed her flight earlier. So she booked for the last flight. Okay. Okay. All right, dear. Good night, darling. Come on, baby. You always be my baby. Mwah. Good night. Take your milk and go to bed. Take care, love. There, my boy, cut some air. You don't get to live life. Law school can be something else. Barrister Alex Mwenke. Say that again. The newest lawyer in town. Say that one more time. <laughs> Gangster lawyer. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so, how does it feel to be free of the exams and the big scary books? Uh, exams, of course, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. It's uh, you know, That part of my life is down. But reading and studying... Continues. Life is a constant learning curve. Constant. <laughs> well, yeah. but at least we got each other's back in case we get into any trouble. Good things about being lawyers, right? Yeah, but as long as you remember that I'm, you know, I'm all for justice at all times. <laughs> at all times. At all times. Look, I've been your friend for how long? Five years. I know how much of a stray bullet you are, right? <laughs> no dark areas with you. So <laughs> straight like that. <laughs> how does Nora cope with all of this? Look at her. Like she copes. Look at her. She's cool. She's, 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 she's happy. She's fine. She must be an angel to yeah. cope with your sorry ass, man. She's an angel. She Something is an angel. tells me he's going to propose today. I have a feeling. Hmm. Yes. Hmm. Well, Alex is so down to earth. You know, yeah. he's such an old soul. I won't be surprised if he's going to ask for my father's permission to marry me. Yes. You hit the jackpot, right? They're yeah. like... He's so cute. You guys should hurry up, please. We can't wait to do a shebu. Yeah, I can't wait. Please. <laughs> Don't worry. Very soon. Please, please. We need to. I just love that woman. And look at her. She's beautiful. Ah, she's beautiful. You love me so much. Ah, look at her. Look at her. Look at, her. Look at that. Ah, yes, let's go see. Let's see what's up with the beautiful ladies. <laughs> Hey, ladies. How are you doing? 
Hello. Hi. How are you? How are you? Hi, baby. How are you? Hi, How are you? How's it going here? Okay. Nora, Hi, looking flashy as always. <laughs> but I think we need more drinks here, seriously speaking. Yes. Um, waiter, uh, <laughs> can you get us some more drinks? You're good, babe. Look at you. Oh, um, no. sweetheart. Um, actually, this is Nora, uh, my darling, my girlfriend. Good afternoon, ma'am. Bring it in, bring it that, in, bring that's it my in. Aunt. <laughs> oh, it's so good to see you. Thank you. Thank hmm. you. I trust my nephew's judgment. <laughs> Until you started. <laughs> Please come in, let's go. Uh, no, no, she has to go. Uh, she's running late, she has to go. Just for a few minutes. Uh, you don't know her father, he's a police officer. <laughs> really? Don't mind yes. him, he's just joking. Uh, uh, I'm not joking, uh, seriously, if you keep her here, like, he might send the entire okay, police force no down no problem, here. but you won't refuse me next time. I promise, next time, mm -hmm. I'll stay. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, yeah, I, I guess the cabman is getting impatient. Oh, okay, okay. It was okay. a pleasure meeting All right, you. darling. I'll see you again. Awesome, I'm waiting for uh, you. Let me drag my bags, auntie. <laughs> okay, dear. Yeah. Bye. Bye-bye. has changed. <laughs> Nothing much. But some things have changed. And that includes you graduating from law school <laughs> and finding a beautiful girlfriend. <laughs> so much nostalgia. Hmm. You have always wanted to be a lawyer like my father. You know that. Hmm. Thank you, Auntie. Thank you. For what? What? For everything. For taking care of this house after all these years. Looking after me, looking out for me, and loving me. Always. <laughs> I missed you. I missed you more. You're welcome. Thank you, Auntie. And that is one fine girl. Are you going to marry her? Oh, no, come on. Are we going to have this conversation? Oh. Mm. You just met her. Like, you just met her. You're planning oh. a wedding already. Auntie, why, 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 why you like I this? I know that your generation doesn't take this thing serious. But I like her. And she seems really humble. Oh, well, she's that and much more, but... I am starving right now. I've missed your cooking. I would like to eat some. <laughs> you know I'm ready for you, but you need to freshen up first. <laughs> yes, I know. So which of the delicacies do you have? Uh -huh. you know? Don't try me now. You know that's my forte. <laughs> you miss me? Ridiculously. As a matter of fact, I think I'm suffering from Alex withdrawal. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. We're fine. How about you? Ah, uh, it's okay. Everyone is fine. It's just Ivy that's refusing to come home. I think she probably doesn't want to see me. I don't know. But apart from that, everybody's fine. Yeah. Yeah, that reminds me. What? First, you have to tell me how are you coping. Uh, I'm okay. I'm fine. You are going to tell me something. 
Okay, so、um, I want to invite you and Auntie to come over to have dinner with my family. I think it'll be a way for me to introduce you to the family. Okay, so do I need to bring something? Um, let's say, let's say, let's say, just bring your delectable self. I think that will be enough. So <laughs> yeah. Mom, I'm coming. Babe, I have to go. Okay, I think my mom's calling me. I'll call you back. Oh, okay. All right. Talk to you later. Then. Always. <laughs> Bye. Ah,、oh, Auntie, <laughs> your cooking. One of the things that I missed the most. <laughs> you liked it. Loved it. Ah, love it, love it, love it. <laughs> I've always loved it. You always know the right thing to say. Thank you, Auntie. <laughs> Thank you. And now, lest we stray, I need you to know that I've not forgotten my main topic for the day. What will that be, Nora? Oh no! Come on. When is she coming to visit me? <laughs> she come what? That really? <laughs> <laughs> ah, you you never give up.、Mm-hmm. You When never is she、up. coming to visit me? Well, hopefully anytime soon.、Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah,、uh, she should be here、uh, anytime. But her family invited us this weekend、oh. to come have dinner at their place. Oh, that's nice of them. Yeah. When? This weekend, I said. Oh, no!、Oh, this weekend, no, I won't be available. What you want? Hmm. Oh boy. Who? The thought of going to an ex senator's house all by myself pinches me a little, but <laughs> I guess I'll get through it. Ex senator. Yes. I thought you said her father was.、Um, A policeman. What? Oh, you be- <laughs> you believe the one I tell you was a police officer? Yeah, I was just messing with you, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> I was just messing with you. No, 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 no. <laughs> Leave me, Joe. <laughs> it, it was actually, it was actually, it was actually a senator one time. Hmm. 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 Yeah. Hmm.、Mm. We're rolling in the big leagues now. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. Oh well. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, is there any particular firm you plan to apply to? I'm、um, not really. Chris and I are、uh, looking to get a small space so that we can start our own firm. You know, grow it from bottom to top. Hmm. You and Chris. Yes. Would that be better? Oh well. On the long run, yes, we believe, believe, you know, that's a better route for us to go. You know, we we don't think it would be best for us to be attached to some other firm. You know, it might be tough at the beginning, but you know,、uh, paramount on our mind is making a name for ourselves. You know,、mm. yes, we're lawyers, but then also forget that issues of life are subjective. Mm. And so we, we kind of think alike. So we feel that if we come together, we, we can be a force. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. So back to Nora.
them. <clears throat> hey, uh, Alex, wait, where's, where's Aunt? Say how beautiful you look. <laughs> oh, thank you. But where's Auntie? Oh, she sends her regrets. She couldn't make it. She had to be somewhere. Really pressing. Oh. Yes. It's fine. Next time, maybe. Come on. Hey. hey. Oh. Hey. For my folks? Yeah. Oh, thank you. This way. Dad. Mom. This is Alex. Barrister Alex, my boyfriend. We went to law school together. Alex, you're welcome to our home. Thank you, ma'am. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. Uh, good evening, sir. Such a cute guy. Thank you. Have a seat. Have a seat. Oh, he, 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 he got this for you oh. guys. Oh, Alex. <laughs> How nice. Thank you. Have a seat. Please sit. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, it's good Shall to be we? here. No. Shall we eat now? I'm starving. Sure. Um, let me dish yours. Thank you, darling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Can I ask you a question? Yeah, sure. I mean, I noticed you were bothered about something the entire time. Did my parents make you feel uncomfortable? Oh, no, no not at all. Um, it's the man, the, the man, the one wearing black, the, the green oh. bread. Yeah, the one that came to the dining room. Yeah. Yeah. Who is he? That's Ted. He's my dad's head of security. Ted? Yeah, Ted. Okay. How long has he worked with your dad? Well, I've known him since I was born. Uh, he's worked for my father for the longest time. He's actually my dad's most trusted security. Okay. Why'd you ask? Nothing. <laughs> Just getting to know the family better. But it's the first time I'm seeing him. Oh, so. gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah. Have to go, it's late. Sure, I'll just um, walk you to your car. Well. All right. <laughs> did you enjoy the meal though? Mm -hmm. You did? Yeah. Well, you know, I cooked it, most of it. <laughs> you did? I did, actually. You're back. What happened? Did something happen to Nora?
What's wrong with him? No. This can't be. No. Could he be the same? The same person? Same man. The one who murdered my mother. Could it be that Nora's father? Uh -uh. Nora's dad. Or the no. Was so upset. Can you tell me what happened at Nora's place to make you get you so worked up? Alex, don't hide anything from me. Life is unfair, you know. You're starting to scare me. What happened? I saw him. The monster from my childhood. The one who took everything from me. I saw him. Who are you talking about? The man who killed my mother. What? <gasps> Did he recognize you? Are you hurt? That's the hardest part. At first I wasn't sure. But then the image became clearer. I saw the man with the god at Nora's home. Oh my... Oh... Oh my god. I 
According to Nora, the man who works for his father, his right hand man, has been working with him long before she was born. What can this mean? Are you sure it's the same man? Your phone, it's, it's ringing. Aren't you going to get it? She's been calling. I know it's Nora calling. I don't want to talk to her yet. I know that face. I can never forget that face. I saw him. I saw him. Alex. I saw him. Alex, you have to be careful. You have to be careful not to raise dust that will not be able to settle. Why? Those people are powerful. Ivy. I'm just worried about her. I think you have some other things to worry about and not Ivy. She doesn't want anyone to worry about her. Are we going to continue like this for the rest of our lives? We have been like this for so many years. So what else are you expecting? A motor. Oh, please. Clear from my way. surprise. Please come in. Um, Alex didn't tell me you were coming. Yeah, that's because he hasn't been picking up my calls. As a matter of fact, I called him the entire time on my way here, but he didn't answer. Where is he? Mm -hmm. Just give me a second. Let me inform him you're here. Okay, thank you. Are you going to keep worrying about this all day? This is all so confusing. I am confused. Because I know that face. I, I can never forget that face, Auntie. I, I know that face. 
I remember that face. But how is he connected to Senator Cyril? Why, how is he working with the Senator? I'm confused. I'm really confused. I am confused. I don't think there's anything confusing about this. Nora seems like such a good girl. And I doubt that her family will be involved in Until something. I looked up the senator and found out that he won the senatorial seat the same year my mother was killed. So? What does that have to do with anything? Mom was following up on his story. An embezzlement. Alex. Nora is in the living room. What? She's waiting for you. How? She didn't she didn't talk. She didn't. She's been calling you and you haven't been taking her calls. She's worried. I can't see her now, Auntie. can't face her. So what should I tell her? I don't know. Tell her that, you, well, I'm, that I'm not home. You didn't find me in my room. Something. But I already told her that you were... Auntie, please, please. Just, just come up with something, all right? I can't face her. She's going to see right through me. If I go out there to have a conversation with her, it's either I'm too cold or I'm too hot. And right now, I can't even confront her with the truth until I have my facts together. Fine. Ah. Oh. But please try to pull yourself together. Auntie, you took so long. Is everything okay? Um, Alex stepped out. He's not home at the moment. But you just told me that he was... You know what? It's fine. He doesn't want to talk to me, right? Well, if he doesn't want to talk to me, he should have at least told me rather than send you to lie for him. Because guess what? You're very terrible at it. Uh, Nora, it's not, it's, it's not what you think. Nora, Nora, wait. The skills are falling down from my eyes. See, it's no longer a mystery. Been haunted by the memory. It's time to know the truth behind the lies. All right, sweetheart. Food is ready. Come, get up. I'm not hungry. And why is that? I have noticed you've been acting up since last night. All right, what's the matter? It's Alex. He hasn't called me. And why is stopping you from calling him? Why well, he's not picking up my calls? And the last time I was at his place, can you imagine he asked his auntie to lie to me that he wasn't home? Hmm. So, what could be his reason? I don't know, Mom. I honestly don't know. Everything seemed perfect after dinner. And then he went home. And two days after... It's... All right. Come and eat. Maybe he's got up with something. He would definitely call you. I don't know, Mom. Come on, believe me. Who wouldn't? Who wouldn't call you? Hmm? Waiting for you. seen Nora that much. She usually doesn't give me peace when I'm home. Did she leave the house? 
in her room. in law school. I haven't seen you much. You look down. Is everything okay? Yeah, Dad. I'm fine. You sure? Yeah. Just a little stressed out, but I guess I need some rest, and that's all. <laughs> okay, if you say so. Now, you're a young man. I hope you both are not fighting. <laughs> no, Dad. We're fine. We're good. Not terribly. Is it the one? Dad. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll mind my business now. Hmm? Although, if he needs help, as in getting a job in a firm, I have the connections. Thank you. But Alex usually likes to do things on his own. Matter of fact, he's setting up his own law firm. Wow. Yeah. That's good. Quite interesting. Just if he needs help. Again, thank you. You know what? He didn't say much when you first met him. Uh, you know, you see, um, I just like to observe quietly. Anyway, I have a meeting with some party members, so I'll see you when I get back. Okay, Dad. <laughs> Be good, okay? I will. Thank All you. Right. Call you soon. That's it. Just like that, I'll call you soon. Well, at least he remembers I exist. You know it's not going to be easy from get go. I wish someone would walk through this door with a case for us. Mm -hmm. It will come. Chris, do you remember? I told you that I, that my mother was killed when I was young. Yeah, you said that. I saw the killer. Holy moly. Yeah. I've been trying to Dig up and come together with some evidence to see if I can get him arrested and circumstantial evidence. Yeah, so who, who exactly are we suing? Ooh. Did something cut off your tongue? Nora's father. Ex Senator Cyril Ajibadi. Wait, 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 wait. Isn't that your 
girlfriend's dad. What? So what are you going to do now? Are you going to pursue the case? Of course I am going to pursue. I owe that much to my mother. Ex Senator Cyril Ajibadi's henchman goes by the name Ted. Killed my mother. Damn. I saw him at their home. And I gathered that he's been working with the ex senator for decades now. Damn! That's some political shit down there. It's beginning to add up. I remember you told me your mom was an investigative journalist. Yes, I and did. she challenged a lot of bad eggs in the government. True. So how about Nora? Have you told her? What does she think? I just want justice for my mother. Hmm. That's all I want. Are you really going to pursue this case? Of course I will. <sighs> what are you afraid of, Auntie? Don't I have a right to be afraid? Well, you have every right to be worried. Of course. You are my sister's son. That means you are practically mine. And since my ex-husband left the country with my daughter, you're all I have left. In as much as I want justice for Catherine, I want you to live. You do realize that this will put your life in danger and ruin any chance of happiness you could have with Nora. I have weighed my pros and cons. I will not break the promise I made to my mother. Your mother has been dead for a long time. Her life was cut short, Auntie. They deserve to pay. Auntie, you have loved me. You have been there for me. stayed with me and, and nurtured me. Held my hands when life became very difficult. Helped me through depression and nightmares. And to you practically Pulled me out of depression. And for that, I am going to love you for the rest of my life. But I'm also sorry if this breaks your heart, but this is something that I must do else. I would live the rest of my life not knowing peace. I understand. But please, please be careful. Uh, oh, yeah. 
will be. Alex. Hi, Nora. What's going on? I'm here for Ted. For Ted? What's going on here? Young man, what are you doing here? What's the matter? April 2004. 2004 was a long time. I don't remember. Oh, maybe. Hmm. Do you know this woman? No. Do you in any way walk outside the orders that has been given to you by the former Senator Cyril Ajibade? I'm not saying anything else until my lawyer is present. Do you remember her as one of the rivals to Senator Cyril Ajibade during the senatorial campaign? My lawyer? Did he order you to murder her on that day? I'm not saying anything without my lawyer present. We can do this all day. Really? Hello? Yes? Yes, I want to know. Has he started talking? <clears throat> His mouth was still as a vault. Uh, it's okay. Very soon, he'll start singing like a bird. We need so much evidence to nail him down. We need concrete evidence to nail him down. You know what I mean? But is a witness evidence not concrete enough? <laughs> You're a lawyer. You're in the best position to answer that. Um, I see. Um, it's all right. I'll, I'll get back to you then. All right. All right. I want everything you know about him. What he likes, where he sleeps, his family, friends, the people he loves. How dare he? Come to my home and embarrass me. I will cross him. Ah, get me the commissioner of police. I want to know the division he was taken to. I, I, I'll call you. I'll call you back. Just keep me informed. What's going on, Dad? It's nothing to worry your head about, baby. Okay? I'm not a kid anymore. Why is Alex accusing Uncle Ted of killing his mother? It's nothing. It's not what you're thinking. Dad! It's just a misunderstanding. Dad! Nora, trust me. Ted will be out soon, okay? And Alex? What would you do to him? Would you have him punished? If you want me to. I know you're hiding something. And since you've refused to tell me or talk to me about anything, I'll find out myself. Nora. Nora. Don't do anything silly. Nora, 
mom, something just doesn't feel right. Something isn't right. Uncle Ted, why? Why would he kill Alex's mom? I mean, Uncle Ted has been working for dad for years, even when he was a senator. So why? I don't even get the connection. Alex's mom was a journalist and then... Uh, listen to me, child. All I want you to do now is for you to have an open mind. That's all. Wait, what are you saying? You think dad is capable of killing someone? You think that Uncle Ted was working on dad's instructions? All I am saying is, you should have an open mind. Or better still, you do your own investigation. You are a lawyer now, right? All I want you to do right now is for you to do the right things at all times. Then you fight for justice. I don't believe you. Excuse me. Why didn't you tell me? I'm sorry. You're sorry? You barge into my house, arrest one of my dad's men, and you're sorry? How about trying something like an explanation? How about you calm down, okay? Try to sit. <sighs> the way you're pacing around is, is making me dizzy. Try, try to calm down. I'm listening, Alex. Okay. You... You remember what I told you What I told you happened to me so many years ago. Ah! Wait, from what you're saying, Ted killed your mother. But it's been so many years. Couldn't you be mistaken? Mistaken? Well, out of everyone, I... I picked Ted. I mean, what connection does Ted even have with your mother? You never even knew the guy until you met him at my dad's place. Uh, lessons with that. I want you to know and understand that I have nothing against your family. He works for my father, okay? That's my dad's name being drugged in the mud. Do you know what the media are saying? Answer me! What connection does he have with your mother's death? Personally. None. Exactly. No connection. I didn't say there was no connection at all, Laura. I only said, personally, none. What does that even mean? It means that someone who wanted my mother died could have hired him to do it. My mother was an investigative journalist, Laura. She had dirt on a lot of people. People of prominence. People of high profile in our society. Wait. <laughs> but Ted only works for my father. He doesn't... Are you saying that my father murdered your mother? How dare you? 
How dare you, Alex? Oh, yes, he did. Your father murdered my mother because he was going to expose him and the funds that he stole. The country's treasury and that story would have ruined his political career and so he took her out. It's hard to believe, I know. It took me quite a while to come to terms with it. But if you keep coming on this way, then I'll stop at nothing. I'm proving it to you. Well, it's a pity it has to come to this because I would do whatever it takes in my power to prove you wrong. Mm. My father can never be that vile. I'm going to prove beyond all reasonable doubt my father's innocence. Bring it on, Alex. Bring it on. Dad has to be careful not to get into trouble with the police or anyone. Don't blab either. Be careful not to talk to anyone. They have no concrete evidence. So they don't have any case against you at this point. Don't give them a reason to. So, how do we deal with that lawyer of a boy? Lilo, right now. Um, he can go monitor his movement, so he doesn't take us on our way again. Thank you, thank you. Well, I heed your advice. It's late now. It's Let's okay. talk again tomorrow. It's okay, Chief. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Did you tell them anything incriminating? No, I didn't. Good. But we don't have to keep quiet. Send someone to monitor that nosy lawyer. 247. Where he goes, who he sees, his family members, where he shops, everything. And I want a file on him. Latest tomorrow afternoon. Yes, sir. Oh, I can't believe that many years after that woman's ghost will come haunting us. That bitch of a woman. Are you sure no evidence will lead back to us? None, sir. Good. She deserved to die. She knew too much. Should have killed her son that night, too. Huh. You can go and sleep. Get back to work tomorrow. Thank you, sir.
This is a whole lot of work, bro. I hope we find something with all this evidence that we have put together here. Dad, I know Alex. He has a tenacity of a bloodhound. When he's on a quest, he never lets go. Dad, Alex believes that you have a hand in his mother's death. And he's willing to do whatever it takes to prove that. How did you even agree to date such a vile creature? How? I also believe that Alex is not one to fabricate stories. I know someone is feeding him with these stories and making him believe it's the truth. I mean, his father was a lawyer, and his mother was a journalist. He has it in him to hunt information. Then find who it is. <sighs> Dad, I'm the only one who knows Alex very well. And I'm willing to work with your lawyers to prove your innocence. Okay? Thank you. Just ignore her. I'm sure she doesn't even know what we're saying. Come. You see, you, I know you, you're, you're brilliant. I've always known you to be a very intelligent girl, okay? Do all it takes to get out of the shame, okay? Talk to me. Is there something on your mind? Like what? Mom, Dad needs our moral support right now. The world needs us to show him support, else he's going to look guilty. Like we abandoned him. At this point, I don't care. Mom. Come. If only you know what your father is capable of. Do you hate him that much? Why? Is that why you asked to be put in a separate room? Is that why you look at him with so much disgust? You two have acted like total strangers for as long as I can remember. But you're his wife! Hey, young lady! You watch your mouth! Show me some respect! I'm your mother! And he is still my father. And you're his wife! If you're not going to show him any support, I will. And I'm pretty sure Ivy will back me up. <sighs> All right. Yes. The court date is fast approaching. According to the information I got from my informant in the force, they have a witness for that night. That was careless. I agree it was. Are you sure your man won't talk? No, he won't. Dad is loyal. If you say so. But if worse comes to worse, eliminating the godfathers are agitated. Yes, sir. I will handle it. The witness, make him disappear. Yes, sir. Hey. 
Has the tale of the lawyer found anything? No, sir. Okay, I want you to fix him. Start with little threats and keep upping it. But keep it on the low. Threaten him to drop the case or lose a loved one. Don't get caught and don't involve my name. Yes, sir. I feel like strangling him. I should have ended him with his whore of a mother. What are you doing, Cyril? I'm asking you. What kind of question is that? Why do you want to ruin my daughter's life? Why, Cyril? Why? What the hell are you going on about? She is my daughter, too. Yeah, she is. She loves you. Yes, I know. She adores you. And I'm sure she will do everything within her power to clear your name. But what do you think is best for you to tell her that there is no point to it? That you are the villain in their story? Excuse me? For so many years now, you have hardly spoken to me. Except when it is absolutely necessary. Probably you should continue like that. Go on. Continue. If the truth comes out, she would definitely lose the case. Ruining her career even before it starts. That's number one. Two! If she somehow manages to convince the George that you are innocent, then finds out the kind of a man her father is. It will hurt her badly. Not to talk of the fact that she will be losing the man she truly loves. Come on, Cyril. Get straight to the point. The point is, several years ago, you murdered an innocent woman. Oh, 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 come on, sweetheart. Don't tell me you were surprised to hear it from me. Of course! I never heard you and Tade talking after your grism act. I would have. I would have spoken it before now. But I was too scared. And now, you also want to end the life of the same woman's son, dragging my daughter to your mess. Before God and man, I will never allow it. Isn't it enough that your atrocious act ruined your relationship? How heartless can a father be to the pains of his own children? Your political ambition ruined this home. Ivy cannot step foot in this compound today just because of you. And now, you also want to ruin Nora's life? Stop blubbing! And you better know your place. Can I tell you something, Sarah? I am done. D-O-N-E done! I am done being scared of you! I will fight you. I will fight you with everything I have to save the life of my daughters from your devilish act and ambition! I will not allow your greed consumers all. 
Never. If you know what is good for you, woman, stay away from what you know nothing about. Stay away. Or it will be the end of you. Like I said earlier, I am done being scared of you. I will tell Nora once she returns everything that I know. Amatola! Don't cross me. I don't care about the relationship we have. But just don't cross me. I can't believe Nora chose to side with her father. Oh. He's our father. What do you expect? Still. Listen, um, Chris, we need to... We need more proof. We need more proof to... to show that... Um, that he's involved. All we have are just speculations. And that will not stand in court. We need more proof. The, the, the only proof and the materials we have only incriminates his henchman, Ted, and for now he's not talking. We'll keep digging. By the way, uh, does the police have any leads to who did that to your car? Well, no. But I'm positive that... Um, That it's him, you know, trying to shake me up. Chris, I know how ugly things might get from here on. And I'm still saying that you can, you can back out if you want. Stop talking, bro. I'm not going anywhere. I'm with you all the way. So tell me, what's our next plan? Still plotting. Ivy, I need your help. Please, come home. Laura. It's nice seeing you again, but I wish you wouldn't ask this of me. Not this. Why? I've been begging you for so long. Dad needs our collective help right now. He needs our moral support. We all need to stand together to give him a positive outlook. Don't mention that man's name in my space. Why? Mom hates him as much as you do, but nobody wants to tell me why. Let's just let sleeping dogs lie. He's not worth it, Nora. The best place for that man is jail. I'm hungry. Nora. Mom. You went to see Ivy today, didn't you? Yes. I see. So, what did you tell her? Why? I can't go and see my sister anymore. It's not like that, it's just that. Mom, really? I wonder what you and Ivy are hiding from everyone. She refusing to come home and you? You know what? Never mind. Says nobody trusts me enough to tell me anything around here anymore. Nora. Mom, don't worry. Okay? I only went to see Ivy to beg her to come home. Father needs our support right now. Oh, no. 
You will not do a thing like that. Come on. Now, you listen. Ivy is doing very well now. And I wouldn't want you to force her to get involved. Of course. Just like she doesn't get involved in anything. Mom. Mom, you know what? I'm tired. I really am. I'm so tired. I just want to go and take a shower right now, please. Can you excuse me? Nora? You are becoming very naughty. Hey, Nora. <laughs> what are you doing here? Is everything all right? I've come to tell you that I'll be defending my family on this case. Yeah, I know that already. Listen, I want you to Goodbye. know that I have. Listen, you don't know how happy I am. You coming back to this house after so many years, Ivy. You don't know how happy that makes me feel. I don't even care why. I'm just happy you're here. Ivy, you know my mom is worried about you. She feels like you're wasting your life and your career by supporting daddy and his associates. And what is so wrong with supporting father? He's our father. That man is a villain. He's a monster. Ivy, that's our father. And this is why I'm telling you to be careful, Nora. Don't waste your life by supporting him. Why is that so? Why? He's capable of anything. That man is capable of anything. That's enough, okay? Our father has done nothing but love us. Father? You keep saying father! That man ran me into depression. He ruins me. He can die in jail for all I care. Ivy. Ivy, what are you saying? What did dad do to you? Many years back, Mama traveled, and it was just us in the house with the cook. You were upstairs sleeping, and one fateful day, the cook went out to the market, and Daddy's friend came to the house, 
I let him in because I knew dad was on his way back home. And then he took advantage of me. He raped me. As soon as dad came home, I told him. At first, he was angry. And then he took me to the hospital. I don't know what they discussed because they didn't talk in front of me. As soon as we got home, mom came back and she knew something was wrong. I told her she went ballistic. She wanted to arrest him. She wanted justice. But your father told her no. He threatened her and said that it would be putting our family in danger. So mom kept quiet. <laughs> Only for years later we discovered that dad traded justice for me for a seat in assembly. He traded my justice just so he can become a senator. As soon as I turned 18, I left this house and I never came back again. This is why I don't want you to make a mistake, Nora. Don't ruin your life for him. He doesn't care about anybody but himself. Ivy, I'm... I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so... And all this while... I thought you hated me. I thought you hated this family. And this is what you had to go through. I hate him. And this is why you can't support him. I don't want you to ruin your life by supporting him. That man is a devil. If he can trade justice for his daughter to become Senate, I'm oh, sorry, Nora. He's capable of even killing. I'm sorry. I'm God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you bring me back here, Sergeant? We've got some new leads on the follow-up questioning. The last time you were here, you said you didn't recognize this woman. Had you never been to her place before? Does your answer still stand? Yes, it does. Hmm. Take a close look at this picture and tell me what you see in there. That sure looks like me. Mm, it sure looks like you. Interesting. It has a timestamp. Do you see it? Yes. It says 10.56 p.m. 4th April 2004. And that's the late Mrs. Katrin Walker's residence at the time of her death. You're lying on record. You're walking. As a matter of fact, you're still walking for the politician who gained after her death. This could be photoshopped. Don't be too much in a hurry, son. We have a witness. Yes, we do. We have a witness who saw you that night. Lies. He go pick up your pictures. In a stack of pictures. And we have a statement too. Lies. Everything he says contradicts everything you've always said. He's kept this for so many years. Scared to make a report and also scared to bury it. Hmm, lock years. His conscience won the war and decades later 
we have more than enough evidence to nail you. Lies! Mr. Ted, you're under arrest for the murder of Mrs. Catherine Wickey. And you have every right to remain silent. <laughs> and a right to a lawyer too. This is not over. It is. You know who I'm working for. This is not over. It's over, Ted. Why didn't you tell me? You were really young at the time. And I just learned to do with it. I never knew dad was this kind of a person. I never knew he was someone to choose ambition over family. I mean, I noticed his relationship with mom had hit the rocks, but I thought he had just fallen out of love. I... That man is evil. And he is capable of doing anything just to get what he wants. Oh, God. Dad is calling. Hey, Dad. What are you? I'm home. Why? Is there a problem? Yes. Dad was arrested again. I'm ready to hear evidence. I'll see you as soon as I get home. As as I get home. Okay, Dad. I should be. Ivy. I'm not ready to see him yet. At least now. You know the truth. Find it out for yourself. That man is evil, Nora. Don't ruin your career by following him. And don't fall for it. He's a damn good liar too. Hey, Dad. Yes, yeah, sorry. You sounded serious when you called earlier. Yes. Ted was arrested again in connection with the murder of that woman. Catherine. Her name was Catherine. Is he guilty? Murder? Uh, do you declare a man guilty without trial? I mean... Ted is innocent until proven guilty. Besides, those accusations were fabricated and the whole evidence false. Dad, can you swear that you know all the whereabouts and actions of Ted since he started working for you? Well, well... I just know that Ted is not capable of murder. And you swear that in court? Nora, what has gotten into you? Nothing. I just don't want to see you dragged down with him. You both hid this from me. Why? Did you think I deserved to know? I'm sorry. I mean, you know your daddy's girl. You love your father so much. And Ivy didn't want to hurt your feelings by telling you all this and also robbing you of your childhood. Just like us. 
Why didn't you take any action? Why didn't you punish dad for what he did to Ivy? What could I have done? What? You know your father is a powerful man and can be very manipulative. All right, you do not know. But listen, I was so helpless at that moment. I couldn't do nothing. And my silence ruined my daughter's life. I blame myself. Believe me, I blame myself so much. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Can you... Can you at least go and be with Ivy? Just to make sure she's okay and she doesn't relapse. I will do that this afternoon. I will spend some time with her. Okay. I'll look into the matter as well. Hey. Listen. You have to be very, very careful. Do not believe everything he says, please. The truth is, Mom, I don't even know what to believe anymore. If he could do that to Ivy, then I don't know. I will not allow, I repeat, I will not allow that man to hurt you, never. Even if it means breaking this family apart to save you and your sister, I will do it. I have kept quiet for a very long time. Mm -mm, no more. I will not, never. Do you know something, Mom? What? Uh, uh, Nora, I, I wanted to know if you were ready so I could drive you to the police station. Um, just, just give me a few minutes. Okay. Hey. Now listen to me. Be very careful. Yes. I want a tail on my wife. A sap. Yes. She will be leaving the house later. I want her abducted far from my home and kept hidden till I say otherwise. Okay. pictures for the police look quite incriminating. You want me to believe they are fabricated evidence? They are. You're assuring me that you're innocent. I am innocent. Ted, do you know of anyone who would like to bring you down or gain from you being incarcerated? None that I know of, I'm afraid. Let's get this straight, okay? You being arrested for the murder of a political aspirant rubs off badly on my father. The media have been in a frenzy since your arrest. If you're found guilty, do you know the damage that will cause my father? So listen to me. If there's anything, anything, Ted, anything you think I should know, I'd rather you tell me now. I don't want any surprises. I'm innocent of what they accuse me of. I'll show you. You're sure? Positive. I personally think that she is not reasonable. Honestly. <laughs> you should travel and go see the woman. He yeah. said, no, when they were younger, the woman wasn't so nice. I said, no. Well, that's what you should definitely do. Oh, yeah, that, that guy would wear his reasons, actually. Hi, Chris. Hey, Nora. Hi, Nora. Um, let me excuse you guys. Um, 
Why do you want to meet? Um. Listen, Nora. I wouldn't want you to pursue this case. And why is that? Nora, this would be your first case as a lawyer. And I would not want you to build a career by losing your first case as a lawyer. Especially a high profile case like this one. And what gives you the confidence that you'll win? I'm just looking out for you. How about you focus on your win and I'll focus on mine? As I was saying, we need to assign private investigators to check on the authenticity of those footages to know whether they're fabricated or they're real. Okay. okay? We need to also know whether there are any real witnesses out there or it's just a bluff by the opposite counsel. And then we need to dig into the circumstances surrounding Catherine's death many years ago. Okay. Okay. And oh, we need to coach Ted. He oh. needs to know how to answer questions in court so as to not perjure himself, okay? Okay. And lastly, I'm sorry if I appear overbearing or bossy. I mean, especially that I'm the youngest in the firm with the least experience. But I don't want anything to come back and bite us. I want everything to go well. Especially that this case is very personal to me, okay? okay. I mean, in the end, I hope justice as we know it will be served. It's okay. Your father told us to listen to you. So it's fine. Thank it's you. Fine. It's okay. okay. All it's right. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye. You're welcome. Just hope everything no, no, no. goes well. Yes. yes All right. Thank yes. you. Let me All see right. you. All right. No miss call from mom. What's going on? She said she was going to call me as soon as she get. <clears throat> hey, Ivy, how are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm okay. Um, is mom with you? Uh, she's, she's, I've been calling her. She's not picking up her phone. Is she asleep or something? What? I've been calling her with the same result. And I was just about to call you. Oh my God. Is she okay? Have you... I, I, I just hope nothing is wrong with her. I, I, I hope she's okay. Wait, do you think we should call the police? Because this is so unlike her. No way. Let's just be sure before involving the police. I'll call her again. Okay. Oh God, please, please protect my mom. I just hope she's safe. Oh, sweetie. Dad, what's going on? Let's let's sit down. Where's mom? Uh, your mother was kidnapped earlier this afternoon. What? By, by who? What do they want? We have no idea, also. You see, um, the driver, after regaining consciousness, called to inform me about your mother's kidnap. Uh, but don't worry, I've reported the matter to the police and they are searching everywhere for her. But Dad, it's been hours. Have they made their demands known? Well, I thought so too. But you see, she has no enemies that I know of. But I think it's probably someone who's trying to punish me or force my hand. Wait, I don't understand. That self-righteous lawyer, of course. I'm sure he's trying to get back at me, you know. 
a mother for your mother. And that kind of nonsense. Alex? <laughs> yes. You know, these young stars, they want to win sympathy and they rip their rich off. But I'm going to prove to him that I'll tell everyone that he's a liar and a fraudster. Wait, but I just... I just saw Alex. I just... You went to see him? All right. Dad. Laura! has been kidnapped. What? Yeah. But Dad has informed the police and they are searching for her. And what's the demand? I don't know. We haven't heard from them yet. Okay, Mama, I'm coming. I'll be right there. Okay. What do you think it is? I don't know. What does that mean? Don't forget to wish the one you once loved a happy birthday. What could this mean? It's just this case, babe. It's just this case we're pursuing. I'm yeah. <laughs> the only one I've, I've really, truly loved is, is Nora. Don't, don't forget to wish the one you happy birthday. Don't, don't forget. the one you love to have a birthday. Don't forget to wish the one you love to have a birthday. Don't forget to wish the one you loved. I think it's a code. I think this is a code. Oh, we need a passcode. Mm. Could it be an actual date? I don't know. I... All right, let me try Nora, right? Nora. Nora. Forget to wish the one you are. Happy birthday. But it's not Nora's birthday now, is it? Should be. Oh, could it. Could it be her birth date? Let's try. 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 This has just popped up. I think it's it's a voice recording. Yeah, let's see what it says. <clears throat> My name is Omo 
Atala Ajibade, wife of former Senator Serial Ajibade. I make this video out of my own free will in fear that at some point my life might be in danger. So if you're seeing this video now, it then means that something has happened to me. And I also want the world to know the truth so as to help protect my daughters from the hands of this monster to know as their father. Alex, I'm so sorry for what happened to you. I know I should have spoken before now, but I was so scared for my children. But now, keeping quiet means that other people will have to die too. It all started several years ago. I overheard my husband and Ted Agabi, head of his security, discussing about someone they killed, one Katrina Mweke, an investigative journalist. I wanted to speak out, but I was so scared, not just for him, but for the people standing behind him in the background committing heinous crimes. They killed her because they were so scared that she might expose their truth. If you do not believe me, then you can listen to the mini recorder inside the envelope. It will tell you more and also their plan to kill you when you begin to seek justice for your mother's death. I know no one would believe me, so when I could, I quickly made recordings of their dealings and made sure it gets to you in case something happens to me. Please, Alice, forgive my daughter, Nora. She doesn't know better. Please save my daughters from this man. Nora. Alex, my mom. <laughs> Alex, my mom has been kidnapped. And I don't know what to do. My dad thinks you have a hand in it, but I know you're not capable of a thing like this, Alex. I'm just so confused right now. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Wait, you know her whereabouts? You know where she is? Um, Ivy, she's she's on her way here. Okay. Thank you. They were so scared that she might expose their truth. If you do not believe me, then you can listen to the mini recorder inside the envelope it will tell you more and also their plan to kill you when you begin to seek justice for your mother's death i know no one would believe me so when i could i quickly made recordings of their dealings and made sure it gets to you in case something happens to me please alas Forgive my daughter, Nora. She doesn't know better. Please save my daughters from this man. Alex, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I should have believed you. I'm sorry for what my father put you through. I'm sorry about your mother. I'm just... I'm sorry about everything. Alex, I'm so sorry. Nora, it's, it's on her father, it's not on you. Please stop beating yourself up. Right now we need to try and find mom and hopefully she's still alive. So what do we do now? Um, I made... um some copies of, of this and sent to a few media houses, I'm, I'm afraid. 
uh, your father is not an easy man to catch and I didn't want a case of missing evidence or a week go wrong. I'm sure you understand that. I want him to be judged by his constituents. I want him to be judged by the people that he promised to serve. I'd like for him to pay for his crimes. Any way we can help, anything, anything, just lock that man up, please. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Send a man this evening to arrest him for kidnapping. We can look for other crimes to add to it. Yes. I want him to rot in jail. I know I can trust you. Let's, uh, let's meet at the club this weekend. Yes, I just saw it now. You were careless. You couldn't even control your own wives. You're going to suffer it alone. Uh, please, please help me. Help me. Please. You're alone. Don't try to contact any of us or you won't leave to see the next day. God, please, please. Hello? Hello? Hey, yes, uh, what is it? What do you want? You're under arrest for the murder of Mrs. Catherine Iweke. I am a suspect for the kidnapping of Mrs. Amotala Ajibade. So you're under arrest. Can you go with us? Uh, sorry, don't believe them. They're just making up stories. Don't you dare come close to her, because that will be the last thing you'll do. I would have never in a million years imagined you'd do something like this. You're such a terrible man. And you better tell us where mom is. Take him away and make sure he pays for his sins. He's gone now. I'm so sorry, I tried to tell you. got the audio. I think you sent it to him. Then locked up Dad. Finally. He probably told him where you was. I'm just so glad that you're okay. I'm so sorry. Auntie. Nora. 
哎呀，没事，这个是。To apologize, I want to apologize for all the hurt and pain my father has caused you, and also for not believing you. Trust me, if I could turn back the hands of time, I would. I understand. It's not your fault. Not for once have I. Blamed you for all of this, you know. Yeah. I just wish that you know things were different. Yeah. My father killing your mother, and he being in jail for it. Alex, I know that we can never go back to how things were with us. But I hope, I hope that we can at least try to be friends. Yeah. Yeah. Sure we can. Thank you. I'm gonna um, go and help Ivy move back. You're leaving? Yes, Auntie. Um, I have to go. Auntie. Goodbye, Alex. Auntie. Alex! You love that girl! So much! Why do you want to ruin your happiness? You've gotten justice now, haven't you? Must you sacrifice your love as well? Auntie, you don't meet people by accident. There's always a reason. A blessing or a lesson. The relationship between Nora and myself can never be the same again. A lot has, has clearly gone wrong. You know it. And she understands it. But Alex... Auntie. Come on. Can I enjoy this meal? Let's celebrate my win. Don't worry, I'll be fine. I kept my promise, Mom. I hope that you have found rest. Beginning. 
The truth is slowly unfolding The scales are falling down from my eyes See, it's no longer a mystery Been haunted by the memories It's time to know the truth behind the lies What is love without the truth? Cut between the lines and now I have to choose No, I can't pretend that I got nothing to lose Making sacrifices, what I need to do Yeah, yeah, yeah Tell me what is love without the truth Cut between the lines and now I have to choose No, I can't pretend that I got nothing to lose Making sacrifices, what I need to do Yeah, yeah, yeah In my way, that's my motivation each and every day. Oh, yeah. I know you're ready to play, yeah. but this is not a game, not, not a regular. regular. What is love without the truth? Cut between the lines, and now I have to choose. No, I can't pretend that I got nothing to lose. Making sacrifices, what I need to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me what is love without the truth? Cut between the lines, and now I have to choose. No, I can't pretend that I got nothing to lose. Sacrifice is what I need to do, yeah, yeah, yeah.